Praise the Lord. As we look at our second line in the Lord's Prayer, Hallowed be thy name. I like us to approach it from four main areas of truth. So, Jesus in this line in the prayer wants us to learn how to acknowledge the Lord. Just acknowledge that this is a, a statement of truth. I also want to talk about adoration. And then the fact that his name reveals his attributes. And fourthly, the name of Jesus gives us access. So we acknowledge the truth that the name of the Lord is hallowed. And that's just a statement of truth. And the Lord wants us to know from scripture that this is true. And that when we pray, we just acknowledge that this is a reality. So for example, in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 2, he says, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel. And say to them, you shall be holy, for I, the Lord God, am holy. That's a statement of truth. We don't make him holy. He is holy in and of by himself. There is none holy like the Lord. There is none besides you. There is no rock like our God. That is in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2. And the last one is Revelation 4, 8. Bible says, and the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes and around and within. And day and night, they never cease to say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. So it's a statement of truth that we acknowledge. But it's also a statement that invites us to adore him who is worthy of our worship. So in Psalm 29 verse 2, for example, he says, Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. So we are invited to adore him, to worship him. So when you spend time in prayer, I encourage you, give time to just adore him for who he is. And use his names to adore him who is awesome, who is majestic, who is king of kings and lord of lords. So it's an invitation to adore him so we acknowledge and we adore him as well and the interesting thing is that the names of the Lord reveal his different attributes and so especially in the old covenant in the old testament we see God revealed himself to the people different people and he revealed an aspect of his name that revealed his attributes so in our times of prayer we can pray to him who has revealed his various attributes through his various names for example in Exodus 34 when Moses was desiring the glory of God, he said, Lord, we will not go without your presence. So in Exodus 34, he begins to ask the Lord to reveal himself to him. And what does the Lord do? He does. And then he proclaims his name. And that's what he says. He says, and the Lord passed before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord, the Lord God who is merciful and gracious. Long, long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving the iniquity and the transgression and sin, by no means clearing the guilty and visiting the iniquity of the fathers. He proclaimed his name to Moses. He proclaimed his name, and in those names were his attributes as well. Isn't that amazing? So when we pray, we acknowledge. When we are praying, we adore him and we recognize his attributes as he has revealed through his names like Jehovah Rophi that shows that the Lord our healer, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider, and so many other names. I encourage you to learn his names. And finally, Jesus is the name that gives us access to the Father. In John 14, verse 13 and 14, for example, Jesus is teaching and he says, And whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. That the Father may be glorified. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Isn't that amazing? That we have the name of Jesus. He is the ultimate revelation of the Father, full of grace and truth. He is the name of the Lord, our strong tower. 
our Savior and our Redeemer. So I encourage you, let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, the glory, and the kingdom is yours forever and ever. Amen.